In 2013, the world celebrated Richard Wagner's 200th birthday. And to end the year, we embark on a Caribbean adventure. Cuban artist Cacho's installation is en route to the Teatro Nacional. It's part of the stage set for the first ever Wagner opera to be presented in Cuba, The Flying Dutchman. In this modern interpretation, the protagonist has been turned into a restless soul in contemporary Havana. The opera is being performed in German. For director Andreas Bezla, working here has been a completely new experience. The journey itself is the essential component here. It's not the destination that's interesting, but the journey, creating an atmosphere of departure. The chorus of sailors give it unexpected energy. In keeping with Wagner's holistic approach to his compositions, Wesele works with the Cuban singers to lend physical expression to both music and rhythm. One of their biggest difficulties is pronouncing the lyrics correctly. It's wonderful to be able to learn this music. But for us, it's a lot of work, getting the text right, and it's a challenge getting the articulation to convey Wagner's awesome sound. Wo triffst du sie, die bis in den Tod dein bliebe treu eigen? Wo triffst du sie, die bis in den Tod dein bliebe treu eigen? None of the singers have ever performed in German before. Working with the chorus members is incredibly dynamic. They learn very quickly. As for the soloists, we'll have to see how the neurons slowly link up to produce something that sounds really good. Soprano Johanna Simone is playing Senta, and she's considered quite a discovery. Born in Havana in 1980, she belongs to a generation of well-trained young singers who want to extend their repertoire. Until now, mainly Italian operas have been performed in Cuba. After singing in Mexico, Peru, and Spain, Johanna now hopes Wagner will secure her a place in the international music business. My hope, which is probably the dream for almost all singers, is to sing in Bayreuth. It would be like singing at the Met or La Scala in Milan, because it is a truly emblematic venue in my profession. And with 60 Wagnerites from across Europe coming in especially for the occasion, she may have a chance. They're founding Cuba's first local Wagner Society, aimed at promoting talent and doing a spot of advertising for the composer on the island. We are very glad to have achieved our aim. We have set a Cuban milestone and now we plan to continue. This afternoon we expect a wonderful performance with the Cuban singers in top form. And there's no doubt that they're cut out for Wagner, both in terms of their acting and their musical capabilities. The only guest artist is Ukrainian baritone Andrei Maslakov, who plays the Dutchman. He fitted into the ensemble seamlessly. He and the Cuban center match each other beautifully.
We come from Munich and goodness knows we're spoiled. But it was a worthy start of a German-Cuban musical community and passion for Wagner. Until now, we never dared to sing Wagner here because it's something special. It requires very special voices. So I'm glad we can perform him here now. I'm so impressed by Senta. Such a warm, lyrical voice is hard to find, especially in Wagner. But I also really like the steersman with his light tenor. It was really good ensemble work. Wagner in Havana. This Caribbean version of the Flying Dutchman would be a credit to many a German stage. And for some of the singers, it's definitely a calling card for European opera houses, and maybe even a ticket to Bayreuth. If that's whetted your appetite for Wagner, just go to dw.de slash English slash Wagner 200. You'll find lots of information on the great German composer on our website.